Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we are going to explore an exciting feature in Salesforce that allows you to display and share files stored as Salesforce files outside of the platform. Imagine you have a team working on a project and you need to share images, documents or other file types with external partners or clients. Instead of sending those files through email or other channels, Salesforce provides a convenient way to securely share and collaborate on files directly within the platform. Let's say you have a project presentation with various images and documents, all stored as Salesforce files. With the content distribution feature, you can easily generate public links for those files, enabling external stakeholders to access and interact with the files without needing a Salesforce account. This opens up new possibilities to collaboration, seamless sharing and feedback gathering, all while keeping your files organized and secure within the Salesforce platform. In today's video, we'll walk you through the steps of exposing files publicly using the content distribution object in Salesforce. We'll also show you how to create a record on the content distribution object, generate the necessary URLs and explore some of the additional features this powerful feature, this powerful tool has to offer you. By the, end of the, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to share Salesforce files outside of the platform, enhancing your collaboration and communication with the external partners and the clients. So whether you are a Salesforce admin, a developer or a user who frequently interacts with files in Salesforce, this tutorial is for you. Get ready to take your file sharing to the next level as we dive into the world of content distribution in Salesforce. So let's start. Let's get started. All right. So first of all, you need to log into your Salesforce account and then uh, you can go to the app launcher and search for files. And then uh, whatever whatever file you want to have the public URL for, just uh, click on that. So let's say I want to have this public URL for this particular uh, image file. What I'll do is you should be able to see this drop down button. Click on that and there is one public link button. So once you click on that public link button, you will be presented with a dialog box here. Now this dialog box actually uh, here will be you will be able to see a create link button that will generate the public URL link for you that you can distribute to the clients and the partners that you want to share with. And if you can see for uh, as this link is public, so you need to uh, so if you need to have some privacy or if you need to have some uh, some kind of protection to that pub, uh, to that particular uh, link then what you can do is you can set this two options so first of all is one is the expiration date so expiration date you will be able to set some date here in the future uh, let's say if you say if you if you uh, actually set a date in the future let's say after five days uh, then after five days that URL would be expired so if anyone clicks on that URL he would not be able to access that particular file the second option is basically to enable password for that particular URL before opening the file for it. So if the if you enable this one, then the uh, then the file would be password protected. So that is the thing. So what we'll do is we will leave the expiration data uh, as it is. We will not touch the password also. For now, we can create the link and uh, basically we will be having that uh, content distribution file link uh, for us. Before doing that, what I'll do is I'll share one uh, query with you. If you can see, we are querying the content distribution object. As of now, uh, I don't have any record present here. As soon as we just click on this create link button, it will now create the content distribution record for that particular file, right? Let me click on that uh, button. Okay, so it says that create unrestricted public link. I'll just click on create. Now the URL is actually created. But if I just query that uh, query that again, you will be able to see a new record here. If I open this uh, record in a new tab, 
so you will be able to see the uh, details of that particular record cont content delivery record all right now what i want to show here is we have two fields on that particular object one is distribution public url and second is the content download url what is the use of these both both of these two fields so first that is distribution public url this url you can actually share with the partners or clients or anyone who wants access to that file with this url that user would be able to preview that particular file uh, in his browser all right so let me show you that i'll just copy this uh, copy that particular link that we have just uh, uh, that we have just got with that record i'll just uh, open a new tab and paste that link and if i open that link you will be able to see that preview of that particular file in this preview you can see this download button also where you can actually download that particular file all right so that is the use of distribution public url but what is content download url so content download url is basically the direct link direct link to that particular file it will not preview that file but it will directly download that file where you can use this content download url you can use this content download url into the image tag as a source url right once you use this as a source url the image tag would then actually able to display that particular file into that image uh, image section right so let me copy this one also and then uh, paste it into new tab this will not preview the file it will directly download that file if you see this so a new file was downloaded right now so this is how you can expose the file as a public url to the clients and partners who whoever you want to share with the complication with this is basically as this is a public uh, public url you need to share to those only people who need that access or else what you can do is you can uh, create the expiration date of that url you wanted to uh, the share, uh, you wanted to have the file with or you can basically set a password uh, a set a password protection for that particular url so in this way a file can be actually be shared to a uh, number of users by storing that file in the salesforce platform itself and hosting it uh, hosting it on the salesforce platform and then sharing it to the public so thank you for watching the video uh if you like the content please uh, like the channel please subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time thank you bye